wash your hands and stick on it. Like, make make, make a, a couple of broth beds. Yeah, broth. Not me, man. 30 years strong. No <laughs> Valentine yet. <laughs> Here we go. Why start now, you know? <laughs> the battle we have all been waiting for, and Garrett's going to put in the four bat here with Jax. Smiley quickly gets out of the way with the sixes. Table talk winds down. Once the four bat has went into place. And he's going to continue with flat call. These players are sitting massively deep here. Gare with 66,000 and Andy with 76,000 in a set for set. Set for set this deep. And these players have played some crazy hands versus each other in the past few weeks. All that leveling and now both these players finally smash a flop. And Andy's going to slow play on this flop. Bet of 7,000 and a call. Not a turn card necessarily but that both players love because 9 10 gets in there and ace 10. But not too many 9, com nine 10 combos should be four betting pre flop. So we've seen both of these players go a little wild with ace 10. So ace 10 is definitely available. But I'm pretty sure these players are going to rush to get all the money in. Gara with a bet of 14,000. with a flat. This pot has $62,300 in the pot. Andy with just under a pot size bet. Both players with full houses. There's no way out. Four bet pot. These Rangers should hit this board really hard, just as they have. But between these players, usually they have wide ranges in these spots. Usually trying to one up each other, but here they actually have nutted hands versus each other. And Garrett bets $30,000. And Andy with around 25,000 more on top of that. Right. And an all in from Andy and here we go. And if you notice Garrett does not snap call here because he knows that Andy's range could have quads. And three combos of pocket kings, which is only four combos of hands. Right, 
there are only four combos that beat Garrett. Actually, Andy could have some combos of King Queen as well. He should just have the suited combos of clubs. But knowing these players, Andy can have the last six combos of King Queen. So if you factor in those combos of six combos of King Queen, a combo of Queens, and three combos of King, that's ten combos that beat your Jacks. Would Andy shove with the straight here? Would Andy shove with Ace Ten? I don't know. I think that's probably wrong. not. This this is only twenty. This is twenty, yeah. Yeah. Would Andy bluff here? Probably sometimes. There is also a combo of Queen Jack. But Garrett has some pretty sick removal to that combo. So it's actually 30, 36,000 more just about. I took it. I already gave it to you. Yeah, I gave it to you. And I'm going to quiet down throughout the rest of this hand. I'm not going to give any more analysis. I'm going to let Gary think this one out. If he thinks out loud, throws in time chips, whatever. Garrett has two time trips remaining, which means he has two minutes left in the tank to think this one through. After those two minutes are up, if his decision is not made, his hand will be marked dead. Going for every single live read that he can. Garrett has to risk 35,000 more to win 158,000. Think about how sick this hand is, and he only has to risk 35,000 more to win 158,000. If Garrett is good here a little over 19% of the time, it's reasonable to call. Oh, Garrett says fold. 
Garrett says Folds only having to risk 35000 to win $158,000. That's like when you take a huge underdog bet and you risk 35000 or $35 to win $150. You All usually right, take those odds. <laughs> Come on. No, let's, I think we should kick this game down. 25, 50. No straddle? I'm of course Yeah, let's go, let's go. Yeah, we'll go. I feel a little bad now. I feel outvoted. How to commentate the next hand after that sick hand. We've seen Garrett make some sick folds. Just add that one to Garrett's resume. Chris here now with quads. And John actually has a full house as well. was reading the chat and didn't realize that this was set for set as well. And John Cohn was just a call. No high hand no high hand last hand, huh? No high hand last hand, huh? Oh my gosh, it's like John Cohen sensed it out. I guess I think you should have held on to it. Yeah, yeah. Huh? Oh, the high hand, yeah. Yeah, I, I had a high hand quads and it got cracked. Like two minutes left. Apparently, quad misses are very common in this casino. It has to be feel low, right? I thought feel low was separate, though. Or maybe it's not. I don't know. It's only holding right here. I think you underestimate, like, that was how many tables. Back to back yeah. hands with when set for set. Happens more often than we and think. somehow the money did not get all in there on both hands. 